Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we have seen the basic thing about how the trigger functionality works and the options what are available in the trigger functionality we have seen. So for every animation which we need to implement, we need to have a trigger function. In this trigger function, first we have seen about the unique name and the second one is an array of the states and the transition. So now why we use this angular state? Angular state function is to define different states to call at the end of each transition. So that is the usage of this state thing. So state is nothing but it is the state function is used to define the different states to call at the end of each transition. This function takes two arguments. First one is the unique name and the second one is the style function. So what is this style function? So this style function is used to define a set of styles associated with a given state name. You must use the camel case style to st for style attributes that contain dashes such as background color or wrap them in quotes if you are using the hyphen thing. So now let's see that how angular state function works with the style function to set the CSS style attributes. Now we will see multiple style attributes are at the same time for the state. Now if you try to see here in our thing, here this is the thing you are having right. So here you need to mention the state. So the state means example the state how it will happen is the state you are having this one right. So yeah, I am taking the default name uh, that name of the state as default and here you need to have a style. So this is the style how you will be mentioning it. Now in order to mention this one so here also you need to close it yeah. In order to mention this is the style function this all should be imported from the angular animations try to see here state and style I have imported from the angular animation before only I have imported it and here we need to have let's say that I am having width 100 pixel and another one I am having height 100 pixel and I will try to have the background color of orange let's assume so this is the default state okay so now if you try to see the output for this one if you see the output let's say so here we are having something like this right let's remove this this thing and we'll see it If I remove the ID is equal to simple for this and here we are having a CSS, I have removed it, red and all these things has been removed. Now in order to apply this state, the state which you are trying to say the default state. So we can apply this state for this one. So the present state you can apply it. So that is nothing but what you need to use is you need to use the trigger action. The trigger action is nothing but here the name of this one. So this is the trigger action. So if you want to call the trigger action, you need to use it like this. So like this you need to use it at the right click state and you need to give the current state. So what is the state you want to mention in the trigger. So we have a trigger action right default. Okay. So this is how you can have mentioned it. Now if you try to see the code for this one. See we are able to see an orange function that is nothing but the styles which has been applied from here. here. If you try to give here 50 pixel then width will be decreased automatically. Now if you try to see here. See the CSS which you are trying to see it is coming from this current state there is nothing from the state you have mentioned that is default which is a trigger of click state. Let us try to have an another state function so that you can have a clear view. I am having another state which is a clicked one and here also I will mention the style and here we will be having another one something like style here. So this is this is the state. So in this one I can have a width of 100 pixel and a height of 50 pixel and background color I will mention it as a blue. So this is an another state click state. Now if you try to see here if I if I change this one to click one let's see how it will look like. If you see here so this is the state you are getting. Now in order to make this dynamic what I can do is I can have a variable here click info. Okay, and let's go to the TS file and here we can have click info by default I will keep it as a default one by default the state is default and the another one let's say that I am taking ng on in it sorry ng on in it so on ng on in it what I will do is set timeout oh here already github copilot has given me the set timeout and here I will write the code this dot click info is clicked okay 
yes like this so now i am taking set timeout click info is equal click for at the time at the first time it will be default and after some time after three seconds the state will be changed to click and here i am using the url click info the variable the variable click info now if you try to see the output for this one let's try to refresh this page so first it is uh, orange color then after some time it has been changed to the other state that is nothing but a clicked thing so here we are able to change the state of a particular div but the animation we are not able to see the animation so how we can able to see this animation so that is the main thing which we need to understand it here the states we have learned it in order to change the states we have seen that is nothing but the states we have declared it the state and the state so we need to see about the animation thing so now so an angular we have seen that we have we can set the multiple styles styles without any animation however what i can say is so in order to apply this one we need to apply to make the changes this one to apply an animation we need to define an animation transition to specify the changes that occur between one state and another over a period of time so over a period of time that is nothing but 3 seconds the state has changing from default to the clicked so that means from one state to another state it's changing so we need to apply an animation or transition so for this one we need to apply a transition function this transition function we have already seen in our notepad these are the methods this transition function accepts the two arguments the first argument is nothing but an expression that defines the direction between the two transition states and the second argument accepts one or series of the animate steps that is nothing but animate function this is also another function animate i will explain these all things so this animate function is to define the length delay and easing of a transaction so this one defines length that means nothing but duration delay and the easing easing means ease on ease out easing like that so easing so these are the uh, easing of a transition and to designate the style function for defining styles where transitions are taking place use the animate function to define the keyframes function for multi step animations so now how it will be like let's try to see so now i have already told you right the transition we need to take that we need to apply the transition so here if you try to see in our code so here let's say that we are moving from one state to another state right so these are the two states finished and here i need to apply a transition transition so i want to move it from default state to click state when the state is moving from default to click so this is a total string okay so you'll be having direction like this you will see the different types of here the directions the expressions how it will be and we will be having using the animate function so this all should be imported from here you need to understand that so we are using the first one is a duration the animation should happen one second so it should be a delay so that means it needs to wait for 200 milliseconds and afterwards it needs to start the animation and the type of animation will be easy now if you see the output let's see now if now if you try to see the animation how it will happen so the animation has it happened why it has not happened i didn't save it sorry so this is my problem so i didn't save it now let's try to see the output same now if you try to see the output so now the transition will happen see you are able to see the transition so this is how you need to implement the basic trigger functionality using the state style and transition and resolve things so this is the basic one So now what I will do is I will try to commit this all the code in a new branch, video hyphen twenty five. So transition angular, okay. I will commit this branch. Whoever may be having a doubts to refer this code and all those things, they can go to my GitHub branch. The repository link is provided in the description below of every video. So whatever the video you are trying to watch, they can go. Uh, you can go to that particular video branch and you can check the code. Hope you understood about this basic transition. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.